three might be rather overstating matters, Yogir. Devil's in the details, you see. And the details are in the fine print. Hello guys, welcome and welcome back. Just before you enter the gauntlet of Shah, Raphael will task you with a mission to kill an old enemy, Yugia, a demon tied up with Raphael's demonic contract. Do you know you can actually help him break this contract? This will also involve finding one of the most hidden NPC in Act 2, Lightning Door. In this video, I will walk you through the steps to break this contract and also show you how to eliminate him without a battle, should you choose to do so. Now, without further ado, let's get started. We will be starting from the waypoint right inside of Gauntlet of Shah. Now I have another video that is a full walkthrough of the Gauntlet of Shah. If you have questions how to reach here, be sure to check it out. From the waypoint, we are going east. Go up the stairs. And pass by the main entrance. We'll see a broken stair here. Just jump off, follow the displaced beast. Remember to do a save here, we will be going through a few persuasion check. So much blood. What the hell has been happening here? What's this? Fresh entertainment. Now here he is, Yugi. Fresh for this place, aren't you? A dark dweller you may be, but there's a definite whiff of the surface to you. A new arrival, then. You burrow too deep, little rabbit. If you are a draw or paladin, you might get different options here, but the first option doesn't matter, as long as you don't attack him. I smell the depths below, that is true, but there's something else, almost hidden by your fear stink. Cherries. Musk. And sulfur. Raphael. I can smell him all over you. That's kind of strange. If demon smells like sulfur, wouldn't yourself smell like sulfur, Yugi? Again, the second option also doesn't matter that much. That perfume trickster swindled me. Trapped me. We want to talk him into telling us a little bit more about this contract. Spit it out. Now. What are you doing? The devil told us to kill this thing, so let's stop chatting and kill it. Astarion wouldn't be happy though. <laughs> Bargaining, are you? A Karator warlord once tried the same. I made him watch as I ate his concubines in young, then fashioned a codpiece from his skull. You can't help. It's not just walls that keep me here. Not the traps, the dark, or the creatures it hides. Something stronger holds me. A contract. Either I fulfill the contract, die trying, or forfeit my freedom. If I leave this place now, I'll become Raphael's slave. Just show us the contract. Let's take a look. Spill or the blood swarm to the night. Silence or prayers smother each right. Wonder Shah's halls, hungry to slay. Leave no justice here, alive to obey. Leave none to hear it. Then be set free. This song is your oath. Swear, swear it to me. Well, that takes 
explains where all the dark justice years went. Well, we failed the inside check here, but it doesn't matter if we want to break the contract. So he's the one who slaughtered the Justiciars. Can we kill him now? Because if he doesn't die, then Raphael won't tell me a damn thing about my scars. Your contract is a uh, song, but knowing Raphael, of course it is. Watchman can burn. Oral agreements aren't worth the tongues they're waggled out upon. A song. Lingers. Raphael made double sure of that. I can't forget the damn thing so long as my word's not finished. I did as instructed, but the song still rattles about in my head. The contract still stands somehow. If I break it, I will become Raphael's slave forever. Anyway, enough prattle. The lyrics are clear. All who hear the song must die. Time to die. Okay, here's the persuasion check. We want to let him not attack us, and we will go take a look. I spent a century roaming these halls. I spilled every drop of dark justicia blood that there was to spill. And you think you can do better? Go on then, I'll enjoy watching you fail. But try to run, and you will regret it. I may be trapped here, but I'm not without friends. If you break your word, they'll hunt you down and make your final moments a symphony of agony. Okay, here we go. Let's head back to the waypoint. And this time, from the waypoint, we are going north. Nothing of value comes easy. Overcome my trials. These holes once. Just pass by all the trials for now. We're going towards the stairs, deeper down into the temple. In their path. I will succeed. And come to the ledge here. Oh, sorry, not here. We are a little bit too early. It's located in front of the library. There's a place where we can climb down. And climb down from here again. On the ground here, we can see there's a ritual site and a book. Read the book. It will tell you about ritual where you can split yourself into many. Maybe Voldemort left it here. And then touch the effigy. What's this? For a ritual of some sort? A little mouse just showed up. Rat stares at you. It almost seems like it wants your attention. If you have drunk an animal speaking potion, it will actually talk to you. But our main goal is actually attack him. He will summon many many little rats, but they all have one hit point, so any AoE attack will be very effective. Now the battle is over, the little mice turn back into Voldemort. I mean, Lythandor. <laughs> These hands! Too big! Where are the others? Where's the rest of me? You! Why did you have to keep trying? Why couldn't you just leave? No, Shadowheart, we are not on the same side. Lucindor, last dark justicia. I kept watch over Lady Shah's temple. Kept the faith alive after all the others were killed. But you ruined it. 
trespassed, spoiled our, my secret. Now, you will rot in the dark. Um, I guess I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? Nothing. You've had your chance to talk. Now you die. He is pretty weak. You can kill him in one turn. Now, you can see the contract is broken. Remember to loot the body. He has a very nice skimeter. And I also have a unique weapon action, Shadow Soaked Blow, which deals additional psychic damage. And take the shield as well. And we are ready to go back to Yu-Gi-Oh! And we can see and his minions are busy packing up, getting ready to leave. When I speak, you listen. Wait. Quiet. It's gone. The song is gone. The contract is completed. Think free might be rather overstating matters, your gear. Devils in the details, you see. And the details are in the fine print. You were to fulfill the deal. Nowhere does it stipulate you could subcontract the last kill to the first adventurer's party that came trotting along. In short, you're in breach of contract, my friend. Oh dear. Back to the hells with what we agreed. I have you now, Raphael. Pay the debt, and I will make this quick. Consider your position. You are about to forfeit what reputation you have left. No contracts, no fame, no power. You'll be a streak of excrement. Even lemurs will slither away from. Unless, of course, you consider instead my infinite mercy. A new contract. A chance to balance the books. Not to mention a welcome change of scenery. Bastard! Fine. On one condition. No more songs. What's a contract? Come on, Yugi. How can you get yourself into another contract? Fine. No more songs. Now, off to the House of Hope for cocktails and canapes. And a brand new signature on a brand new deal. But first, it would be only befitting if you reward your subcontractor. The greater reward for the greater hunter. Anything I leave behind is yours. Pick over it however you like. Of course, I'm sure I'll be looting the entire place. How dare you talk to me after what you've done? Now the Orthon's free to traipse back to the hills, and I'm left with nothing. No information about my scars, no leads on where to turn now, and no idea why I'm wasting my time with you. Okay now, as Darren wouldn't be happy, here comes his tantrum. You thought it was right to take this from me? My chance to know what Cazador did to me? What is plan for me? You had a chance to do the right thing. And you chose a devil over me. He is so angry that he could leave the party permanently. And we have to pass a persuasion check. So, if you want to romance Astarion, I don't recommend you break Much Yugi's contract. Me. You do have a point. Our odds are still better together. Just know that my patience has its limits. And you're dangerously close. Now instead, let's rewind the time and see what would happen otherwise. Well, that explains where all the dark justices went. The final lyrics linger in your Now, mind. we have succeeded in the inside check. That means we have a chance to be able to talk him to death. Otherwise, if you fail the inside, you will have to fight the battle and kill him. Convince him his followers are audience, so they have to die. When nobody hears the song, the contract is finished. With all the bonuses from Mithara, it should be an easy check. We might have to spend an uh, inspiration or two here. The Merigans. 
They barely have a thought to share among themselves. But they do have ears. Kill yourselves. Back to the hells with you. I still hear it! Seems your theory is wrong! No, we are not wrong, Yu-Gi-Oh. You still have a pet. This is so sad. I'm so sorry, Nessa. I still hear it. There's one person left. You gear yourself. And you don't die anyways. You will be revived. If you're wrong about this, I'll claw my way out of a furnace and eat you alive. Contract be damned. Nicely played, Raphael. Bastard. Now he's dead. See, even if we choose this option, he will still be able to help us in the battle against Raphael. But that's just gonna be another difficult persuasion check. Does... does that count as us killing him? That had better count. Now there you have it. This is how you can resolve yu gi -Oh's situation by breaking his contract or convince him to kill himself. I hope you find this video useful. Please leave a like and consider subscribing for more content gaming. Thanks for watching and see you next time.